I am Milton, son of a carpenter in Mary. A dad a carpenter worked on skyscrapers. Mom Mary Ann. I am the son of a carpenter in Mary. I get to tell parables. And I also design graphic art. And I also get to answer prayers. All right, who's up first? Well, hello, Emily. What's on your mind today? You want a burger? And they won't let you have it. Oh, you must be in California. Those damn vegetarians. They're hungry. They're angry. And they want you to be too. Do what I do, Emily. Just roll right past them. And you get your burger. You've tried that. You come up on the beach and they keep pushing you back into the ocean. Emily, are you a whale? Oh, I, I thought so. Tired of that uh, a seafood diet of yours, huh? Well, hold on. A uh, Sandra. Oh, Sandra is a very good guardian angel. Yes, yeah, Sandra. Uh, you see Emily down there with those angry vegetarians? Fly down there and tell her it's all right. Go back in the ocean, then go. Go get her a burger. And oh, yes, Andrew, get me one too. You know how I like them plain. Oh, that's another problem, me and those damn vegetarians. I can't eat anything green, uh, literally. Part of that uh, biology, physiology, uh, that is uh, growing a new body, perhaps, I don't know. I'm going to show you my eyes in a moment. And make it quick, because uh, Sandra's got a burger on the way. But yes, I'm doing a little genetic carpentry. As the son of a carpenter in Mary. Oh, don't try this at home. Dad himself, blue light dad, taught me how to do the genetic carpentry. Oh, years ago, it was uh, so easy. I mean, just like that, you, you change the color of your eyes. You'd ask a uh, beautiful young lady at the party what are, are her favorite color eyes, and then you can imagine how it would uh, impress them. Nowadays, a whole lot of overpopulation, pollution, It's much harder. It takes a lot longer. I started uh, growing a new pair of eyes back in 96. Uh, 1996. And then uh, 2014, I ended up in the wheelchair. Lost 80 pounds in one, one month. Uh oh. A spectrum. Reminded me to uh, ask you to uh, ask 
and answer Jesus' question. That's one of those wounds put me in the hospital. It's a genetic wound, just like the eyes comes from the outside. Uh, it comes from the inside, the genetics, not from the outside. Ask and answer Jesus' question about Barack Hussein Obama. You can put uh, Trump in there if you want. Is Trump a terrorist? Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? Well, to be honest, you know, Hussein has more of the name of a terrorist. And, uh, yeah, it, placing someone named Hussein in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of angry, violent, deadly Husseins. And I said that wrong again, didn't I? Placing a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of other cowardly Husseins. That just didn't look right. It wasn't right. We don't go by names. But the fact that uh, Hussein, Obama, I grew up in Africa to be closer to his dad during those formative years. Yes, I, like you, have heard the Osama rumor that Osama bin Laden is Barack Hussein Obama's dad. I made a video series about it and haven't had one comment in a decade. I'll put the two side by side, Osama, Barack, check out those eyes and don't be a hater. You're, if you're politically correct, you cannot have it both ways. They are a mixing it up all over the place. Try to pick up your phone, 424-229-4140. Uh, see Osama's son hijacking a lifeline. Doesn't matter if it's a guy in a dirty bed seat from the Mideast or a clean-shaven one went to Harvard and was placed in our White House to sustain our democracy at that strategic point in time. It doesn't matter. That's still your family's lifeline. Whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me, phone ringing, error message, busy signal, it's not going to be boring if you need to fire them in the police and paramedics. It'll be just as newsworthy, too, if political, religious, or business censorship stops your phone. When you need to fire them in the police and paramedics, just as newsworthy as me asking for a 93 check, John Melton Brady, Melton, for over a decade now and not getting one. We people must be the reporters. They're not doing their jobs. Fire them all. We can all do the job of the reporters with our phone. Get all those network news anchors weighing in on the job they're not doing. That is news in itself. Why aren't you doing your job? You play the reporter with the uh, news anchor who is not doing his job. The reporter who is not doing his job. Why are you placing uh, Hussein and Trump in our White House when you should be covering the news? Everything. It's fake news compared to my family's lifeline not working and you not covering that very easily documented. You can certify mail to me. My address is on those files, 4260 Eagle Rock Boulevard, apartment 409, Los Angeles, California, 90065. My address is there. Certify your mail, make a video of it first, FedEx, UPS, private carriers, as well as the U.S. Post Office. It takes just five minutes to make that video. Well, make a video of your mail before you send it, of course, but make a video of whoever's in the room there with you. Their family's lifeline not working. Those hijacking your call to me are worried enough about that to alter phone records to cover it up. Yeah, it means all those reporters can get fired, and we can put new ones doing their job in their shoes. That's what they're worried about. They're worried enough about hijacking your call to me and who knows when else. Like I said, it's not going to be news. If political, religious, business censorship is sending the message in your city, it's not going to be news. So we the people must be the reporters, make that video of whatever boring thing you get. When you don't get me, post it. I'll show you this one. Let me get to my sugar check. The eyes growing anew. Make that video. It's Sunday. 
whoever's in the church there with you, their family's lifeline not working, not knowing when else it won't be allowed to work. All priests of, of those in your churches, phones. All firemen, the fire station's phone. All policemen, the police station's phone. And uh, soldiers of military bases worldwide and each other's phones. Of course, uh, worldwide, uh, not just in America. Make that video. Protect us from the threat from within. Yes, see that phone is every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, the police, and the paramedics to make a video being hijacked. It will mean more coming from you guys. The priests, the firemen, the soldiers, the policemen. Make that video, post that video. I tell everybody we don't have reporters. We got Hollywood. We don't need Hollywood, we need reporters. 193. Then do their job for you for them, post it to MySpace, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, a hundred more. Remember, let's see that phone as every child in America's lifeline to the firemen, the police, paramedics, and make a video of being hijacked. We don't know what they're planning next. Oh, I hear they've, uh, they've got a distant you know, a relative of Hitler they want to place in their White House. We don't know what they're planning next, uh, and there are a lot more sinister things than that. That can even go on uh, without us knowing about it. Because the news media is not allowed to cover that stuff. But, uh, if you want good leaders not to uh, Adolf's son or grandson or whatever. You got to uh, be the reporter. Make that video of America's Hijacked Lifelines. Now this is my eye from what it looked like most of my life. This photo, particular photo printed out a little darker, but there is some light blue right there, or a lighter color. And right here is about a year later, early part of 2014. I'm going to show you this brown outer circle of the brown eyes is gone, and this inner circle is um, is on its way. It's got the, often it will have whitest color either on the outside or completely covering it. Remember, you only have to tell that joke perfectly once. You get it on video. You never have to tell it again. It goes for the serious things. Like our hijack lifelines, put that on video too. It doesn't matter what I say on this side, I can use a lot of stuff. Uh, tents and get stuff. Only of summer rumor, the Tommy Parables, my fire and brimstone. You don't have to worry about it till you flat line. See that bright light? Then you get a whole lot more of that, except much worse for an eternity. It's all on this side of the uh, video here. On that side of the video, you can make a video of your phone not working and not knowing when else it won't be allowed to work. And phone records, I don't manage those. That's uh, folks who are having those records altered by those who are worried about hijacking your calls to me and uh, getting caught doing it. So make that video. Timestamp on your phone, number dialed. You're trying to call Milton. You want to know why America's lifelines are high tech when you do? Oh, from day to day or night, morning to night, it can be different. That browner inner part there. Just the very center is browner and uh, if you know what's going on, you know, you'd think uh, doctors of blindfolds would be interested. And eyes growing anew right in front of everybody. But uh, my doctors can't talk about the change in eyes. To put that in perspective, they can't talk about the 93 checks. The 911 flight 93 checks, me not getting a call from you. A 911 flight 93 ticket, you calling me up. And either saying, my phone's allowed to work all the time. 
This is a 911 Flight 93 check saying that or making a video of censorship run wild in America that needs to stop is being as over the top with zealots who don't know that it's wrong to do it. Placing a cowardly Hussein in our White House right we got to take by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. We don't want to know what they're planning next and make that video of their high tech, your high tech call to me. Post it. And come tell me person it's Sunday what you believe. Doesn't have to be anything you hear in church. It's religious censorship, but yeah, 9 11 and placing the cowardly Hussein, both religious censorship. But it's also religious censorship. You can't call me up to tell me what you believe. Ask what I mean by Jesus is a Maglet house. Oh, you can call it Opportunity House, guys. It's opportunity for a whole lot of good businessmen all over the world to build a better world. But I have to tell you, Jesus is a Maglet house. Uh, it's in the fine print, and there will be a test at the end. I hear it's pass, uh, fail, or purgatory.